And good morning, everyone. How are you doing? This is Amanda. I do hope that you're well. So I'm going to be recording a video today for the new moon in Cancer on the 17th of July. And we're going to be using the new Christ Consciousness deck and also the Archangel Metatron deck. It's funny, I just tried to do this video with somebody else's deck. Uh, and it's like, what am I doing? Why am I not using my own deck? So I'm going to just use my two decks as well as maybe one other in this video. Um, by the time you watch this, I should be in France. So this is a pre-recorded video and I hope that you're all well. There's also another pre-recorded video that I've done for my absence, which is on Mary Magdalene. That will be going up in a few days as well. OK, so look out for two pre-recorded videos. I then will be back in the chair, in the hot spot <laughs> around about the 25th of July. OK, get back on the 22nd. Then it's my birthday and then I'll be back. OK, right. Should we just dive into it? I have no idea what's going to come out. Um, I've been so busy. I haven't really been able to tune into this new moon in Cancer, but let's do so now. Let's light some incense to get us going. And let's see, let's see how we're doing. It feels to me as though we've own, we had only just started cancer season uh, and it's just flown by very, very quickly. Or should I say it's flowed by very quickly, all that water. Right, let's start with three cards from the Christ Consciousness deck. And we're going to ask uh, the energy of Jesus to be here, please. Also the energy of Mary Magdalene. Also the energy of the disciples. And let's see, what are we looking at? What are we being asked to look at around about the new moon in Cancer, 17th of July? first thing I'm feeling is just a slowing down. It's like even my speech, it's just as soon as I'm dipping into this, I'm feeling a slowing down. And maybe this is good because things are accelerating so fast, so much is happening. It feels as though the Cancer New Moon is just this opportunity to just put down your baggage and rest for a little while. That might literally be an hour, it might be a day, it might be a week. But it feels as though it's important just to stop for a moment, to stop. I'm hearing to cease. I'm wondering if there's going to be a ceasefire. Now, I don't know what that ceasefire is. A ceasefire of hostilities. You would like to think it's the big one, of course, but I suspect it's probably more a ceasefire linked into the hostilities that we hold within ourself and between ourself and another. Uh, also a ceasefire with regards to energies that are competing and affecting our peace of mind. We have the lion on the bottom of the deck before I shuffle any more. You see, the lion is waiting, and that is the Leo energy that wants to roar in on the 22nd of July. Leo season starts, and we're going to be asked to stand firm, stand very firm and have some courage in Leo season, even more than we normally need to. And it feels as though before the battle, and I'm using that just in terms of a metaphor, a army needs to rest, okay? We are the army, we are the peaceful army, we are the light worker army. An army needs to rest from time to time. This Cancer New Moon is a perfect opportunity to do that. And you might have to do it with chaos reigning all around. Uh, I am being shown an, a, 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 a battlefield, but I, I suspect this is just uh, an analogy because I'm just being shown us resting, but there's like fire in the distance, the sound in the distance, it's still all kicking off. But knowing that it is a time where you are allowed to just stop for a moment, okay. 
Right, let's see what else is going on. So Cancer New Moon, we have the lion there getting ready for something. But that is to come. I'll pull some cards on the Leo season in a moment. But let's just have a look at Cancer New Moon. Let's have two cards, please. Cancer New Moon. We have the card of prayer. Contemplation and connection. It's exactly what I was just saying. And the depiction of this card is exactly what I was just saying we need to do. Because he's praying and there's a busy city there in the background. There's planes flying overhead. There's noise. There's all the rest of it. But he's taking time out to pray and contemplate. Um, and it's set against the moon. It's set against the moon. Cancer New Moon is a very powerful portal for prayer. For that which you need help with. Whether you need healing, whether you need assistance, whatever is going on in your life, knowing that prayer is powerful around this Cancer New Moon. I don't know why, it just is. Uh, it's as though God's ears are wide open. Not that they aren't most of the time, but just more so than ever. You can also work with the energy of Archangel Sandalphon, who helps take prayers to the Godhead, Source, whatever it is that you wish to call. But please take time out to contemplate, to pray, to connect. You're not going to be able to do that if you're running around, busy 24-7, with this in your hand all the time. There's going to be more and more distraction coming from this, coming from social media, coming from the internet, coming from the latest breaking story, breaking story after breaking story after breaking story. It keeps you hooked in on an adrenaline rush. I need to be in the know. I need to know what's happening now. It would serve humanity better and the awakening timeline better to use the Cancer New Moon for deep reflection deep thought, deep journaling, and a moment of prayer. Okay. What else, please? What else? Cancer New Moon. The card of freedom. Also would like to say that both times I've shuffled the deck, this has been on the bottom of the deck. So I'm also going to pull this card. This is the card of gratitude, um, appreciation and thanks. So before we get to the freedom card, prayer is also to do with saying a prayer of thanks. It's not just about what do I need. It's about what am I grateful for? How many times have you heard me say that gratitude is one of the fastest ways of raising our vibration? So having a moment of thanks and appreciation to the people in your life, including those who've maybe not necessarily always been there for you or been on your side, but have made you stronger, etc. But absolutely, trying to view this time as the most beautiful gift that whatever is occurring there is something to be celebrated. Okay, there's something to be celebrated. Now we've also got the card of freedom, just be you. And it's interesting putting it together with the card of prayer because it feels to me as though it's saying freedom comes from an inner sense of knowing. Freedom comes from inner peace. Freedom comes from inner, um, an inner state of harmony, 
and well-being. Let's just think about that for one moment, that whatever is occurring in our world, whatever is occurring in your world, that we can still hold an energy of freedom inside of ourselves, despite external circumstances that might be showing us that we are not free. OK, so if you're up against regulations and control and you have to do this and you have to do that. And I'm talking here about the erosion of things that we've always taken for granted. So, for example, something like freedom of speech. Let's just take that as an example. So freedom of speech, we know it's being eroded across many, many different platforms at the moment and in our society. And that is a fact. But yet, if you think about your ability to be able to speak, channel, say anything, being thwarted by powers that were, but in another way, they never can. Because what I'm being shown is we're going to be opening up to greater powers of telepathy, of just knowing. I just know how you feel. I just know. I, I just know. Knowingness, wisdom, recognition of soul members, soul tribe. They can never take away a sense of freedom if you hold it as sovereign within yourself. And here we've got the lion. No one tells the lion what to do. So there's two messages here. Number one, you've just got to hold that energy of freedom within yourself. Hold it true, despite external circumstances. But also, in a weird way, Restriction of freedoms with regards to freedom of speech is going to lead to an acceleration of other methods of communication which cannot be controlled, one of which is telepathy. <laughs> How interesting. How interesting. There are so many things in our world right now where you've got to look beneath the initial story and the initial <gasps> reaction and start to see the potential that lies in everything. So, as an example, in the UK, as of today, 12th of July, when I release, or not release, when I record this, the name of the BBC presenter at the centre of the latest scandal has not been released. I expect by the time you're watching it, it will be widely known. Even though we all know who it is, but you're not allowed to say because of libel laws and stuff. In one timeline, what was given to me today is it can it could potentially lead to the tower moment for the BBC. That is relevant to you if you're in South Africa, if you're in America, Canada, Australia, wherever you are. Whatever country you're in, there are leading organisations, media organisations which have dominated the, you know, the control of what you're allowed to say, what is reported, etc. How about if what's happening with regards to the BBC scandal and this particular man, and if it's gone further than that and it's other people involved in the BBC as well, what if the whole thing, the whole show just comes down? The whole organisation falls. That actually is about a big bastion of the media falling. Now, I don't know whether it will happen with this one person and this one event, but I do see a timeline where it can happen. And then multiply that in other places, whether it's CNN, whether it's whatever the big news stations are in your countries. What happens when the big media giants fall? and you're not hearing them speak anymore, then you've actually got to use other outlets. I know many of you are, but it just feels as though that's all relevant to this as well. Okay, back to the cards. So I've got four cards out from the Christ deck. 
Lionheart, Freedom, Contemplation and Connection and Gratitude. Let's now pull four cards from the Metatron deck and let's just weave the energy of the Metatron deck and the Christ deck together. So for Cancer, New Moon, please, Metatron. Cancer, New Moon. Four energies that people are looking at. Wow, I mean, pff, can't make this stuff up. As I'm always saying, the card of communication and Kundalini. As the Kundalini of Earth rises, the vibration of planet Earth arises. Uh, ways that old traditional ways that we have been communicated with. This is the news. It's going to change. I'm being shown in the old days, um, the old town criers with their bells, you know? Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. And they would come into the town square and they would tell the people what had happened in the kingdom, you know? Um, sounds like, you know, like we, we, I, haven't, I don't remember that, but that's what used to happen in the Middle Ages and stuff. We, and now we've got these huge, great, big media structures. This is in the spotlight. This BBC story, it's not a, it's not actually, it's not a distraction. People that are saying, oh, it's a distraction from this. It's a distraction. It's not. This is where the news is at. The news is at the news. The news is about who reports the news, how the news is reported, what agenda is behind it. And absolutely, the people that are in the news, reading the news, what's the story there as well? I hope by the time that I release this, uh, the person in question has been named, because otherwise I've just given a big, strong hint in terms of who that man is. Anyway, um, yeah, so we have the chakra light body and we've got communication. Speak up and be heard. You know, <laughs> how many... I, I, Hello, <laughs> hello, it's all here in the cards. It's all here in the cards. I did a couple of little videos on Instagram and Facebook this week where I was talking about we have to speak up. We have to speak up for what we believe to be true. Uh, there are so many people now who are frightened to question agendas that are coming into our world we, that we just have to accept as okay. And I will say it here, those of you that follow me on Facebook and Instagram already know that I went off on one about something, but I'm going to go off on about it again, because uh, the latest thing here in the UK is that the it was reported that, I'm not going to use the word because I have to be careful on social media in terms of algorithms and stuff, but, you know, the part of the lady, a part of a woman's anatomy, um, it, it, it's called now a bonus hole, a bonus hole uh, by certain charities that are telling their employees that this is what we need to be calling it now, a bonus hole. You know, are you OK with that? I'm certainly not. And I'm going to speak up against it. And I don't care who I offend. People are frightened of being the lion and speaking their truth. And when things have gone too far, calling it out. OK, calling it out. So, this to me, Cancer New Moon, feels as though, yes, we're going to be asked to pause, <laughs> but equally, it's as though there's going to be implosions around media, okay? Probably also other breaking stories within media in terms of media personalities and what they've been up to. But anyhow, um, also, this is, again, confirming what I brought through earlier, that our methods of communication are upgrading. The two decks are confirming each other. Uh, telepathy, as our chakra system upgrades, as our third eye upgrades, as our throat chakra upgrades, we're going to be able to discern easier. We're going to be able to speak our truth easier. We're going to be able to telepathically be able to understand each other better. So why would you then have to pick up a newspaper for somebody else to tell you? You know, that type of thing. Um, or, of course, there's always going to be a place for newspapers and news news channels because you're not necessarily standing in Libya or Egypt or Australia. You need reporters on the ground, but you're going to be able to discern what's real, what's false, what's being manipulated, where, what's the agenda, all of that. Um, and, you know, more and more people are going to wake up to this. Again, I just want to bring into this video... 
you know, I remember the early days of the pandemic and some of the advertising in this country, I'm sure in other countries, was absolutely appalling propaganda. I remember going down onto my street and there's a bus shelter and there was that. Do you remember the, the great big bus shelter posters of it was somebody on their deathbed gasping for air and it was like, look her in the eyes and tell her that you won't have this, you know? And I, I could see through all of it. I just thought it was complete and utter propaganda, which is what it was. But a lot of people couldn't. Um, but I think they're going to be able to see it next time. OK, and it's interesting because you can't see. But off screen, I've chosen some sprays for this video. And uh, now they're making sense. I couldn't understand why I've chosen these in particular. I've got the Meta Pirate spray which is the spray I bought at, we brought out at the start of the pandemic. This is one that just helps to uh, keep your aura as energetically clean as you can. It's got lots of antibacterial, antiviral essential oils in it. I always use it and I'll take it to France. I'll be spraying it in the van. I'll be spraying it in hotel rooms if we go into hotel rooms, that type of thing. When I'm traveling on the boat tomorrow, I will put it into my aura. It just helps you to ward off stuff. But... That was calling me, as was the Fear Fighter spray. So it's like putting them together. It's like, hmm, OK, we're going to have another big wave of fear. You know, we're going to be fed fear. Let's all panic about the next thing to worry about, you know. And, uh, you know, we're, we're being asked to just learn from the past and to be more like the lion rather than the mouse, you know, that sort of ran ran you know I'm, I know I've said it many times but I'm, it's always seared into my brain just the look of that woman as I was walking down the road during the height of the pandemic the fear on her face as I approached her in the street in fresh air and she scurried across the road to get away from a human being in case I was carrying the lurgy I I I mean I have compassion for that level of fear to be perfectly honest I absolutely do but it also freaked me out because I was like, my God, they've done a good job on you. And I'm just looking what's on the bottom of the Christ deck as I'm saying all this. Look at this. Peter, denial. You know, um, not want, a lot of people not wanting to face now what is coming out with regards to what actually occurred during the pandemic. How we were lied to, how we were manipulated, how there was an agenda there. And I can't go much further than that on YouTube or I'll get thrown off. But, you know, there's other big champions uh, out there who are doing it on our behalf. Look at Dr. John Campbell's work if you haven't done recently. It's all there. Russell Brand as well. Um, and I will say this, actually, because Metatron said this to me the other day. I know it's frustrating. I mean, you might say, well, I've got a big channel and I have. I've got a lot of followers now. It's great. But they've got a lot more, OK? Russell Brand's got millions. Um, Dr. John Campbell's got, I don't know how many he's got. I think he's got millions as well. Those, they're like the big beasts of the jungle, OK? They're like <laughs> the big beasts of the jungle. They're harder to take down than others, even people like me who've still got a sizable following. I'm easier to remove or eradicate. People with even less followers, easier to just move off the map. So that's why, you know, go to the big jungle beasts who are there. That's their mission to report this stuff. OK, I'm just reminding you that they're there. I know many of you know this, but to the people that are still denying it, I don't want to know. I don't want to face it. You know, even though there's people who, you know, I know everybody knows somebody who's now got a heart issue or had problems in that area. But it's like I don't want to put two and two together. I don't want to look at these athletes that are just dropping down dead. I don't want to look at that. Well, we're going to have to at some point. Peter, denial and weakness. Um, the next card that comes out is the card of sisterhood, Mary Magdalene and Mother Mary. And I, you see, I think this is what heals it. Because right now I'm sort of in my Carly rage. I'm in my Lilith rage. Um, I'm also in my Leo rising rage. And there's nothing wrong with that. I've got Leo rising no apologies. I can absolutely be like this from time to time uh, when it needs to be said. But equally, I know that we need to come together. 
we need to come we all need to come together we need to be able to put the past behind us to sit with each other whatever decisions were taken over the last couple of years to hear each other's stories but to never let it happen again this is the point to learn from the past and it's to do with communication what i've got here in terms of the cards it's all to do with communication communication and freedom I mean, just look. I mean, the, the cards just tell the story. I also feel, though, that whatever agendas powers that were have out there to bring in other things that are frightening, worrisome, etc. I'm not going to go into what they are. You probably know what they are anyway. And please don't post it below. Otherwise, again, my channel can get flagged for that. But the point is that we're being reminded that if we focus on the highest timeline, the timeline we actually want, we don't have to go down into, we don't have to go into what they're, what is planned. This is a big part of who I am. It's how I live my life. I'm aware of what's out there. I know of what could happen, but I'm always striving to remain in the highest timeline for myself and for the collective. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do as well. And the way we do that is we stay strong. We keep concentrating on our own chakra body, our light body, filling ourselves with light at each portal, walking the talk, having gratitude, having a daily structure of prayer, meditation, connection. Also, this kind of communication feels as though it's also to do with communication of um, between us and the divine between us and the divine, making sure that your telephone line to the divine, as well as the telephone line to your yourself, your higher self, is um, always on, okay? And again, that requires you to stop, to be still, to switch off the distraction, to switch off the phone from time to time, uh, to be able to have that experience, to go offline, basically, I mean, I am going to be going offline um, a little bit. I mean, I will still have my phone with me, but I'll try and turn it off as much as I can when I'm away because it's very good to do that. OK, let's have one more card from each deck, from the Jesus deck and from the Metatron deck. Let's firstly have the uh, another card from the Metatron deck, please. So this is for July the 17th, 2023. It's the new moon in Cancer. What is that helping us to... Uh, step into <laughs> come on come on <laughs> I'm going to tell you what the decks work the decks work look at it I love it it's the first time I've ever tried to use both of my decks together look how well they work together the Christ deck we've got the card of freedom imagine you're in that hot air balloon no worries free you can go wherever you want to there are no borders there's no restrictions nothing you're in the element of air and we've got the air card from the metatron deck it says fly free freedom is going to be the big topic in uh for this cancer new moon now of course the film sound of freedom has just been released hasn't it and i haven't seen it yet i will try to see it um, and it's breaking it's breaking records, isn't it, in terms of its takings. I'm also hearing that they're trying to manipulate it. Um, there are various cinemas where alarms have been going off and people have had to clear out of the cinema halfway through. It won't work, OK? The truth is out there. And uh, again, to those people who are saying, oh, it's all just, you know, uh, it's not it's not done with integrity or the people behind it they're actually you know the bad guys I've heard people criticizing Mel Gibson and probably the guy who directed it even though I know Mel's not in it but that is classic classic self-sabotage by the spiritual community a film comes out about a very important subject child sex trafficking and it's like thank god people are going to going to see it sound of freedom they're going to see it uh, set my children free, all of that. And then you have parts of the spiritual community that come in and they're like, oh, no, you know, no, that, 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 they're all black hats or whatever. It's come on, you know, uh, <laughs> sorry, but come on. If you're thinking that way, just 
take your bloody tin hat off. It's, it's ridiculous. Get behind the people that are trying to bring this stuff to light. That's what they're doing. Sound of Freedom. Go and see it. Um, I know most of you have. It's just, it's okay to call out the manipulators in our midst. Well, I like the sound of that. Manipulators in our midst. We have many manipulators in our midst. And sometimes, you know, they are, um, they're, 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 they're sort of couched in, they, they hide behind spiritual teacher titles or I don't even know who they are because I'm not really into the communities that are bringing down this film I just know that some people are trying to bring them down so I can actually say this without even knowing who is doing it I don't even want to know who's doing it I just know that the film is, has got an important purpose um, it's raising this subject amongst a whole swathe of society that doesn't even know it exists that this even goes on get behind it OK, so, yeah, we've got the energy of air there. Fly free. The bird is bringing the truth. Let's have one card. Oh no, let me do that at the end. So Metatron card is air fly free. Let's have one more card from the Christ Consciousness deck. For the Cancer New Moon. Oh, OK, <laughs> what is it? The open door, the open door. You know, new moons are always about new beginnings. Um, it's always an opportunity to take a deep breath, start a new path, a new regime, a new mindset. Uh, go through the open door. It says Christ within you. And we have the rainbow, the mountain, the bird and the valley. Uh, so, yes, this is an important doorway that is opening with Cancer New Moon. It's leading us into Leo season. And ultimately, of course, it's going to be leading us to Lion's Gate <clears throat> as well. So. <coughs> the door is wide open. This is also like the trap door is wide open. This subject of child sex trafficking, it's open now. It's open. It's out in the open. Um, there's only going to be more and more revelations, uh, more and more to come to light. Now, in the video that I recorded also this morning, a, um, a Mary Magdalene special, as it were, which will be going up in a few days. Um, in that, Mary was talking about the secret, you know, things that have been secret that are going to be coming to light and we need to be there for each other. Again, this card of sisterhood, we need to be there for each other. It's OK to get angry. It's OK to have holy anger. But ultimately, we need to then channel that. We need to do something with it. We need to be there for people that really don't know this stuff is even about to hit, hit, hit the newsstands. So, um, oh God. Just a lot going on with this new moon. There's a lot. Can you see now why? I know you can't, sorry, I know you can't see the cards that I'm looking at. As I say, I'm just trying to do this very quickly before I go off. But here, I've got all my cards and the one that's right in the centre is this one. It's like all the, everything I've been discussing, all these different energies, things that are going to be happening, it's like it's a wheel. But in the centre of the wheel is the energy of prayer. Very important to pray, to pray for disclosure, uh, to come to light in a way that people can handle. That doesn't mean keep a lid on it. It means allow it to come to light in a way that it can be handled. And also, I want to say also for it to be disclosed via people with integrity that you can trust, that have voices of uh, love, unity um, that can take us back into our hearts rather than more into the energy of hatred and which is just going to lead us nowhere really. So we need to be praying and asking for the right leaders to step forth during this time uh, to help us with what comes through. Now I'm not saying everything's going to be happening next week I just mean that we're on a timeline now where this is all going to be revealed. And I'm looking around the world stage 
Um, and I'm just sort of, just in my mind's eye, I'm just having a quick look at all the different leaders around the world and just trying to find the ones that might step forward to be able to help us with this. And at the moment, it's like there's an empty stage, but there's a spotlight on the empty stage. And it feels as though there's somebody who's going to be stepping in from the background. Um, I, I'm seeing the leaders in our world and they're like in a semicircle. And, but the, the center of the stage is a spotlight, but it isn't one of the current leaders. It's somebody stepping from the shadows to be in the spotlight. Um, and at the moment, I don't believe we're meant to know who it is. I'm just trying to get a feel for whether they're male or whether they're female. They're definitely a unity candidate, for want of a better word. There's somebody that represents unity. There's somebody that speaks with the voice of peace, the voice of love. They're not a divisive figure. They're a figure of, they're a figure that everybody can get behind. Yeah, look at that. And whoever they are, they're going to help bring justice, but also with a, they have love in their heart. They have love in their heart. It's like a Princess Diana energy. No, it's not Princess Diana who's still alive, who's going to come back and stand in the spotlight. She's dead. Um, but it's somebody carrying the Diana frequency. Um, doesn't mean it's one of her sons. It just means somebody who's got Diana's type of energy. I mean, I, I have got a feeling. <clears throat> People who don't like the royals are going to hate me saying this, but I'm going to say it because some of you still think some of them are worth something. Some of them aren't, but you see, Prince William is a Cancerian and that's the sign of cancer, the chariot. Doesn't mean it is going to be him, but uh, I've got the King of Swords. He's a king who's able, um, take it away from William now, whoever this is who's stepping onto the stage is has the status of a king who's able to speak the truth but also speak from love. It could also be somebody who has the energy of Camelot within them. Um, yeah, look at this. Whoever they are has got the strength. They've got the lion heart. This is the lion heart energy. This is the this is the Avalonian lion heart energy. This is Camelot. Um, I mean, there's a few contenders I can think of. It could be Camelot takes me to the uh, the Kennedy family as well. Of course, we've got RFK Jr. very much limbering up on the sidelines. He's not in the spotlight at the moment in terms of being on the centre stage. I know he's on the centre stage, but he's not even the nominee. Uh, it doesn't have to be any of those people because, you know, some people hate him, some people love him. William, some people hate him, some people love him. It, I don't know. And let's not get bogged down in names. Let's not have the comments section filled up with hatred for William or RFK. It's just so pointless. Um, I don't know is what I'm saying. I don't know. But I'm just saying that the qualities, whoever this is, they have strength, they have a lion heart, they are willing to fight for truth. Uh, they've got a strong analytical mind, but they've also, it's heart and mind combined, very powerful. Whoever this is, is powerful. And it feels as though the majority of people will like them. Um, could also be a woman as well, queen of wands, could be a woman, but I don't know. <laughs> Not being shown. Okay. Final couple of cards then for New Moon in Cancer. Let's get back to uh, you and let's see. This is the Queen of the Moon Oracle. I'm going to just add in a card from here. Let's have a look. Cancer New Moon. Um, we have Release and we have Purity. Purity links into Children. Innocence, the release, 
I think this is I think this is all the child trafficking. I I, I really do. And again, there's a, there's a masculine energy who's coming out here to really try and fight for the good. I am going to give a shout out to somebody here. Um, let me just see if I can find him. Yeah, this guy. There's a there's somebody. It's a YouTube channel. Um, let me. What's he called? He's called Stephen Hilton. Uh, he's got four hundred and three thousand followers on YouTube. I think he's. Uh, he's trying to, he's a whistleblower or a, a way shower. He's exposing the corruption in Hollywood in particular. Um, check out his work. He's also a father. He's got children. He knows he's put his life on the line. Uh, that is the type of lion. That's the type of man that we need to be getting behind. He is completely out there. He's naming and shaming. He doesn't care. Um, you know, hopefully he'll be... Can we, can we all just put some protection, please, around Stephen Hilton? Stephen Hilton um, on... Uh, just check him out on YouTube. It's all tied into this. He's trying to blow the lid off uh, all, all of this. It all needs to come up, guys. And ultimately, let's go back to the Metatron deck. It's to do with this. It's to do with bringing light to the darkness. So... OK, not quite the message I thought I was going to be bringing through today, but it is what's come through. We've also got Archangel Sandalphon. Let's go back to where we started with this video, the energy of prayer. Sandalphon takes our prayers to God, universe, etc. Let's just stay in prayer. Let's just hold the line. Let's just know that uh, we need to be there for each other. OK, I'm going to leave it there. I need to get on with my day. Take great care of yourself. Lots of love. I'll be back here in the hot seat <laughs> around about the 25th of uh, July. But take look out for the Mary Magdalene video that I'm also releasing before I come back. And uh, I'll tell you all about France when I get back and um, whatever escapades I've got up to. Looking forward to it. And um, But I'm sure I'll miss you all as well. Take great care. Please like and share the video. I appreciate all of you very much. Bye-bye for now. Bye.